hear how those are muffled. I'm going to show you how you can fix that. This is something that everybody who plays guitar has had to learn. Hey everybody, Johnny Stewart here from Johnny Stewart's Guitar Lounge, and today I want to show you how you can stop getting that dead sound when you play a chord, like this. And it can be hard to get all those notes to ring out the way they should. Those three are fine, but then you hear how those are muffled. I'm going to show you how you can fix that today. So why do dead notes happen in the first place? There are a bunch of different reasons, but one of the most common reasons is that when you're starting out, you just might not have developed enough finger strength yet to be able to press down hard enough to make all the strings ring out. So the open strings might be okay, but the strings that you're pressing down on might be a little bit muffled. And so basically for that, it just takes practice. It takes time and practice with each finger just do finger exercises, practice with each finger on each string, how to press down hard enough to get a note to come out. And that'll be harder the closer you get to the nut of the guitar right here, right behind the first fret at the headstock. But that's something you need to do for all the strings. And your lower strings are going to be the most difficult because they're the heaviest, they're the thickest, and so they're the hardest to press down on. But trust me, if you do it enough, you will be able to press down on those strings and get a good clear sound to come out. Okay, now let's say you can get a perfectly fine sound when you press down on each string alone, individually, with all four of your fingers, but when you try to play a chord, it's still getting muffled. There are a couple different reasons why that could be happening. One reason is that maybe you haven't gotten the finger strength together yet to be able to press down simultaneously on multiple strings with multiple fingers. You can do some different exercises for that. So just, for instance, take two of your fingers, put our index finger on the D string on the first fret, press down good and hard, until a sound comes out and if you need to take a break that's okay take a break and rest it because you know again when you're learning it takes time to build up these calluses so once you can do that then take your middle finger and put that on your A string on the second fret and just play those two strings just your A string and your D string and see if you can get a clear sound to come out of both strings at once once you can do that, and you can hear both of those clearly, now we're going to take our ring finger and add that in, and let's put that on our G string, also on the second fret. So that's going to sound like this. And if you add that B string, and now suddenly your A string on the second fret, your middle finger is not playing too great, or your, your index finger isn't pushing hard enough, then just practice. It just takes some time, and just practice getting getting all three of those fingers to push down at the same time so you can get sound to come out. But then once you get all those, then let's add your pinky finger also on the second fret. Now you're scrunching your fingers in quite a bit, but this is actually a nice chord, and that is a B7 chord, which I have not taught you in any videos yet. So that's a B7 chord. Take your pinky finger and practice getting that on the second fret on the high E string with all those other fingers that you've been using so far. And once you can get that to play clearly with all those four fingers pressing down hard enough, then you're probably gonna be able to play just about any open chord you want to. The other most common reason that I see people struggle with trying to play chords and trying to get a clear, clean sound to come out and not have certain notes be muffled or dead is that your fingers might not be in the exact proper position. And maybe you're saying, I've got my ring finger on the A string on the third fret, I've got my middle finger on the D string on the second fret, and I've got my index finger up here on the B string on the first fret, and that's a C chord. So what do you mean my fingers are not in the proper position? Well, what I mean by that is, if you look very, very closely, and I'll come in as close as I possibly can here, you want to make sure that all of your fingers making that chord. See that crease right where the callus is? Notice where that is. That's right on my fingertip. My fingertip is what's pressing down on the string, not the pad of my finger. So not, not this like fleshy part of my finger, but because if I try to do that, listen to what happens to my high E string, which should ring out like this. If I've got my index finger turned and I'm pressing more with the pad, then look that's going to be deadening out my high E string. So I've got to have my finger, my index finger, just 
on the first fret of the B string and not touching either of the strings around it to make it ring out. The same thing is true for my middle finger, which is going to go on the second fret of the D string for a C chord. See, if I'm p pushing back, it'll deaden out or maybe even play the wrong note. Maybe it'll be, be playing an A note instead of the open G. Same thing for my, my ring finger down here on the C, which is on the third fret of the A string. So just practice putting just the tips of those fingers right on those strings and not touching any other string around it when you are playing. And you have to be very deliberate about it when you're practicing. And it can be tedious, it can be difficult, but you know what? We've all been there. This is something that everybody who plays guitar has had to learn, and you can do it too. And something that might help you a little bit with that is to push your wrist out just a little bit. It might feel unnatural at first, but it will feel natural in time. And you haven't got to, you know, like bend it super, super hard or anything. Rather than having your hand like bent back like this, which you'll never get the proper finger position like that, just move your wrist out a little bit so that all of your fingers can be just going straight up and down as much as possible right onto the strings that they're supposed to be playing. Well, okay everybody, subscribe to my channel for more videos. Like this video if you enjoyed it and if it was helpful, because it really does make a difference on YouTube, and comment below and let me know what else you'd like to see from Johnny Stewart's Guitar Lounge.